All right, <clears throat> welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 Part Two. I haven't uploaded the first part to YouTube yet. That's okay. Um, I'll get probably both of them tomorrow, or so. I think I'm gonna take Sunday off. Uh, even though I've had the past two, three days off, two days off, Twitch. Probably, I'll probably play today and tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna continue with 13, where we last left off. Uh, we had just beaten. Not that game. Uh, we had just beaten, um. The arm. The big arm thing. So, uh, cool feature about 13 too is they're gonna recap it for us even better than 13 did. Remember in 13, it just gave us that text scroll? Uh, when we load the data for Final Fantasy 13 2. Final Fantasy 13 2. The story so far. Whoever you are. No Christ. Is that a toy Moogle? But I want to see lightning so much. I'll be back. No! And that's basically where we left off. So, uh... Okay, this is telling you that you can, uh... You can... Once you gain the gate seals, you can go back to an area that you've been before and uh, you can close the gate by tapping RB or R1 and it'll lock the gate and you can replay it out from the very beginning of the game. So you can essentially do New Game Plus um, with this feature uh, where you can just, like I could go into my other save, go all the way to the back of the game or back to New Bowden 3AF, lock it, start the game from the beginning with maxed out stats and weapons. Sounds kind of fun. Never done that before. It's okay. Uh, but then you can just unlock it again with the same button. Oh man. Allergies are not doing good today. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society based on human technology. The game reads to me, I don't have to read it! A provisional government has replaced the Sanctum, and a scientific organization calling itself the Academy oh, searches like ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia, where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. Oh, sorry about that. My allergies just started picking up. Uh, yeah, so we're at this, uh, military site. Pressure Bruins. <coughs> no times in 13 2 were not great. Okay, so yeah, we just beat the big, big bad arm, invisible arm that came out of there. Uh, can we do this yet? No. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which ways we've explored so far, so I'm just going to take a look around everywhere. Say there's supposed to be music, right? There's music. It's just very quiet. Quiet. Oh, these pixels of the rain are ruined my frames. Hurt my eyes, actually. Just just exploring around. NPCs are literally useless. Oh, I have been up here, because I've gotten this chest, okay. So I guess I've already explored all this. I don't remember, it's been a few days since I played last, and I was pretty tired when I played last, so I, I just don't really remember. Yeah, I've been this way already. Here's... Chocobo Kalina! Have you seen that big old giant? Where'd he come from? Someone sure wasted their time and hard-earned money making something that big. I don't like seeing materials go to waste like that, but hey, what can oh. I do? 
I can open up my shop. That's what I can do. Oh God. Yeah. Alright, that was a bad one. Oh, my allergies are really bad right now. Why does it just start happening when I have to start streaming? It's fine, all day. Okay. Uh, what she sell for accessories? I've got iron bangles, I've got a black belt, a rune bracelet. I could get a rune bracelet, that's not too bad. How much money do I have? I don't have a lot of money. So, Gasol Green sell, what do I have to sell? I don't want to ever sell. Ooh, I have a magician's bar. Do I have that equipped? <laughs> what is my met? You what is my setup you. as? This is fine. This is about to change soon. Equipment. Oh, I don't have enough capacity yet. There we go. Okay. I'd much rather have that. Um, okay. So we gotta talk to this guy. Your ID checks out. Be careful in there. Why did you offer to stop the giant? Because we can't let Atlas shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. Oh, like the hell yeah. Use. Like the gate to Valhalla? Exactly. The song and how can I take you to lightning? Is awesome. Those handy dandy portals. Right. We'll do it your way. Yeah, I got some potions there. Two potions from that chest. Okay, we got map there, but we can't get over that way yet. Oh. All right. Let's take out the Zerg Scandroid first. Wait. No, I forgot. Take out the Kate Sith first. He's healing the thing. Take out the healer. Take out the healer. There we go. Alright, I see that little white crystal that appeared from him. Here's a new mechanic in the game, because we only have two party members, we only have Sarah and Noel, we can get monster crystals here, we get, but you always get both of them for this fight, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get both of them being a tutorial fight, um, and then it unlocks the paradigm pack, so since we only have Sarah and Noel, we can use monsters as our third role, or in our third party member, so... To the world unseen, the untamed you guide. <laughs> what do you know? It talks. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Guide the untamed? The power over monsters, Kubo. Over monsters? Now that you mention it, Lightning had monsters fighting with her in battle. You can do the same, Kubo. Mm. Okay. This power, can you show me how it works? I want to learn how to protect myself. Might as well start now. Koopa! 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 Okay. So, yeah. It's, like I said, you, you want to look out for monster drop. Uh, just skip this one. You want to look out for those white crystals here. And then we can go into our paradigm pack. And we can equip up to three monsters at a time. So we've only got the two, so let's just put both of them in there. Now you can see the Kate Sith is a medic with... Uh, oh, I can't look at their stats right there. But he's a medic, and the Zerg Scandroid, his Zerg Scandroid, is a Ravager. So now our battle team has changed. We can mess around and have some fun. So we want to make a... Definitely two Relentlesses still. 
Uh, don't have two medics yet, so I would rather have... Uh, well, you're better that. I'd rather have Entourage. Um, Tyler's Charge is good. Oh, we definitely want Triple Ravager. Thaumaturgy? Uh, yeah, that'll do. No, diversity. I like that. Okay. Now, as for leveling up the monsters here, you can see we can go into the monster menu, and you can see these guys are both level one. Um, and their passive abilities are that uh, Kaseth has improved here, and the Scandroid does not have any passive abilities right now. We can check X to see what abilities they have. So he's got Spark Strike and Multicast. Uh, he's got improved cure, like I said. He's got Kitty Clock. Uh, deal physical damage to a target. Uh, oh, that's their special. That's their Feral Link move. Uh, and then he's only got cure right now. So to level up these monsters, we go into this monster menu here, and we uh, uh, we can in. No, 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 no. They're right on the Crystarium, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right on the Crystarium. So we can go. Uh, and we can spend uh, certain certain things we get by, or certain materials we get from drops. Like a, it could be chips, droplets, uh, orbs. Uh, and now there's three different varieties. There's potent, uh, vitality. And I forget the last one, but one is for overall stats, like just general. One features more towards physical, and one features more towards uh, magic. And uh, some of the uh, components, the, uh, the essence, that's another one I think. Uh, some of the components uh, can only be used on biological creatures. Some of them can only be used on mechanical creatures. So it's just a different way of leveling up. It's kind of like the um, leveling up weapons in 13, you know, having to mix mechanical and bi uh, bio or, um, organic components and stuff. Um, and you can get some really nifty combinations for this, but we only have, like, for the case if we only have the one thing and we have nothing for the uh, Scandroid right now, so I'm just going to leave it at that. We're going to not level up the... Uh, we're not going to Crystarium yet. Alright, let's move on. Up the stairs. Oh! We got a live trigger! What just happened? <laughs> Looks like we're getting overlapped from another world. <coughs> Atlas has disappeared into another world or another time, I guess. This game makes so much sense. Right, let's head over this way. Can't hop in there. Not yet. Alright, what do we... What do we got here? Just some Nectins? Take them out. Phoenix down, two potions, hell yeah. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, we got another gate. We got another gate here, fellas. Gate, huh? Figures. And we need an artifact to open it, right? Right. Key. Oh. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't do anything. Oh, wait, there's a... Yeah, there. I'll take out the small fries, you take it, you guys take out the big ones. Nice. Just don't really do much. Oh, oh, oh. 
Scholars believe the paradox is a natural phenomenon, but I think it was created by man. That glowing thing has to be a weapon sent here by someone. See, they really have not much to say. Hi, hey, hey, Choco Bocalina's up here now. Do you have anything new to say? If it's the giant, you. She gives you more information than anybody else, honestly. Oh, yeah, see, she can drop uh, materials now, so we can get these potent droplets and potent bolts if we wanted to use them on our monsters. Which. They're not that much money. So I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna go up to 10 of each. Well, I guess I can. I guess the Kate Sith will be a little. Well, I don't plan on using the. You know I'm. I don't plan on using either of these that much, but I just want to show you how it works. So we'll go with the Kate Sith. He can only use these potent droplets. Boom. Give him some magic. Resist curse. Learn to Suna. That's really good. All right, that's all we can teach him. All right, the Scandroid. Get him something. Thunder, that's pretty good. And that's all we can teach him for right now, so. But you can see down there at the bottom right, it tells you what your next ability you're gonna learn is and at what level. So. Um, but yeah, just getting a little bit on, on there. Getting an extra ability, a little extra health on them. Cannot hurt. So. The Brescia Ruins, according to the guard, Chester Fury Seath has appeared. Take on the monster. You can handle one of those monsters? A creature like that shouldn't even be here. The paradox of that Thronian, there's no telling what it is. Watch your step and be ready. Keep the seat. Okay, so yeah. Sometimes there'll be little missions around. Oh. Mog's found something. But we can't do anything about it yet. They're gonna point it out to you. Look! We had some supply stations around here. Then they sort of disappeared. Probably another paradox side effect. Leave it to me, Kubo. Ah, here we go. They're gonna give us the ability. Mog search! If you think there's an invisible object around or mob Mog's bobble glows, you can press RB or R1 and do Mog search. And it'll let out an area, and it'll reveal the object. And here we get a wild artifact. Ooh, interesting. The and the was dissolved five years ago, but I hear rumors that members of the former government are trying to regain. And every time you you do that with Mog, lots of people come over and be like, "Ooh." What do I deal with you right now? One of my men lost an experimental drug that our unit was testing. It's a reaction enhancing substance. Kind of thing that civilians shouldn't be playing around with. If the substance was stolen, there's no telling where it will end up. Which happens. You'll help us search for the capsules? We could certainly use an extra hand. We're missing two capsules. They look just like ordinary medicine. If you find them. Alright. So yeah, sometimes sometimes talking to people. You kind of have to. If you run into a, a spot where it's like you, you can't find anything. Um, okay, there's one of the capsules already for that guy. If you can't find anything, try talking to people. And that's one thing I don't like about this is the live active dialogue. Um, because the battles are live and active too, so it's like, I just missed that whole conversation with Alyssa now, because unless it restarts, I don't think it will. Ooh, Coke oh, drops this thing. See, so it cuts the, it cuts it in half, I don't like that, so. Uh, Kate Sid. We just got two potent orbs, or, or droplets for you, buddy. Oh, I don't have enough, the next one costs two. Oh, okay. So the cost is starting to go up. Be aware. Alright, let's continue this way. Oh, 
Oh, this game is so pretty. I, don't know, I just don't like the rain here. Okay, we can head down that way in the tunnels if we want. Oh, oh the life could kill it. It's like, what happened? Okay. humans they must have designed a way to stop it and that machine showing up is no coincidence right two choices we try that new device and hope it controls atlas or do it the old-fashioned way and fight him head-on well guys let's, let's do it back <laughs> what does Alyssa think what does mog think I live in the moment I'm not sure what does mog think hey mog what do you think about all this? Um, I think I like Sarah more than I like Noel. Goodbye. Oh my god. You know I have feelings, right? What is the point of those choices? No, I know. I haven't been to the tunnels yet. Alright. So if you go over that way, there's a big fucking invisible paradox monster. That will ruin your day at this point. Don't don't fight it, unless you are really good at the game and know what you're doing. I'm not good at the game, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go try and control it. We got a new monster here, though. Two new monsters, let's go. Alright, let's take out the plant. No, let's take out the, uh, Gark Comercia. The, 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 the little bird things first. They go down quicker and they don't hurt you. Oh god, it's got deep things or deep Curse, that's what it's called. Double commando strat, let's go. Take him out, no. There we go. I didn't see what he dropped. It wasn't a crystal. Alright, let's head into these tunnels here first. We got lots of exploring to do still. Hey, Joko Bocalini's here again. She's just all over the place. Girl, what are you doing? Ooh. Pulse work soldier? Pulse work knight! Let's go. Lena is like, they kind of put her all over the place because there's no save points, so it's like... Uh, so they kind of put her all over the place because she's kind of like, uh, there's no save points, right? Can I please hit the monster? No. I'd like a preemptive strike, please. There. Alright, so we just want to go for the stagger on this guy real quick. He's just like the sampling sheets we fought before in the past. Oh, except he really fucking hurts. Ow. What the hell?
Oh, I guess I just wasn't paying attention to his attack. His attack killed me. Alright, that's fine. Go Sentinel when he does a big attack. Alright, let's use our first pair of late here. Down Y for So you press, you, you build up this bar here, and you gain a... No, first go, no. Uh, anyway, you build up this bar with your monsters, and you, uh... They get their own, they get this ability. You can see it's below their name, alright? Here, here's Kitty Clock. That's YX. That put poison on him, so that's what we want. That's really good. Yeah, let's get some healing up here. Alright. I'm having a really hard time explaining things because this is just. just this game moves really fast. <laughs> like, it's just like there's so much going on at once that it's hard to explain things in this. Okay. Hey, we get a fragment though, and 600 CP for our troubles. And he was guarding a star pendant. So yeah. Anyway, there's this little bar under the name of your monsters in battle, and that fills up like just as they do things. Um, and that's called Feral Link, and when that bar fills up all the way, you press X or Square on your controller, and they'll activate a secret ability. You'll have to do a quick time event, input some commands, or, uh, yeah, input some sort of commands. It could be multiple button presses, it could be, uh, like, tap a button repeatedly, stuff like that. And they'll activate a certain ability, and there's all different kinds. Each monster has a unique Feral Link, basically. Um, to where it could just be a really massive strike, can inflict debuffs, can uh, can completely heal you, can debuff the enemy. There's tons of stuff it can do. So, alright. Why do I have a live trigger? Hey, Noel. Is Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog and glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war, hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed into Pulse. What about the Crystal Pillar? But what happens to Cocoon's Pillar? What happens to Lightning and the others? They say the pillar crumbled. In my age, there's nothing left but crystal sand. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. Alright. I don't know that. There, there might be actual answers to all these live triggers. I definitely don't know them. I'm just playing the game as I normally would play it. Alright. Got some top lights here. Ooh, they deal wound damage. I don't think I had a chance to explain wound damage yet. Wound damage um, takes out your maximum HP. It lowers your maximum HP her hit. So, it can be pretty scary. It can be healed with, with potions, wound potions. Um, but it can be pretty scary sometimes. Let's go back and see get some healing up here. You can see how, like, at the... Well, no, no my face isn't blocking. We're good. Uh, you can see down uh, at the characters' names the... their, their red bar, their their green bar, and then into their red bar. That's their current HP. And then there's that little, or that's, yeah, that's their current HP total they can have. And then if you get wounded, it takes out a chunk of that red bar and leaves it as blank space. And that's that just lowers your maximum HP for the battle. 
Hey, but we got a Hoplite on our team now, so let's go ahead and add him to our Paradigm Pack, because we can. What is he? He's a Commando. Very cool. So now we can implement... Um... Where would I want another Commando? I, I really don't. I like this. Yeah, I like this way more. It's fine, but we got him. I mean, the only other one I could think of doing is... I already have Tireless Charge. Yeah, no. I don't want Cerberus here. I'm good. I need a healer. I need to heal sometimes. I've got to remember I'm not invincible anymore. This is a different game. Alright, let's check our big map. Oh, okay, cool. So let's go and get this treasure real quick. This will be our quickest Orange news book. Yeah, so those are, those are those little adornments I was talking about. Um, you can equip them to your monsters and they'll just wear little hats. Like bows and tattoos and things. I never care. I might play around with it this time because it is kind of fun. Ow. Alright, we gotta take out the case suits first because they do just heal. And that's not right. Apparently they're weak to thunder. They are weak to thunder. These I know are also weak to thunder, but I need to change these guys, so. Try the last Oh no, they're not weak to thunder. You think they would be? Healing up there. Alright, cool. Just kill the fucking focus fire the cat. Kill the fucking cat, thanks. It's that device. Must be it. Oh god, I forgot about this. I think we're inside the paradox. Oh no. We have to figure out the labyrinth and its puzzles before we can get out, Koopo. Okay. These are temporal rifts. And there are three different kinds of them. Two of them are fine, they're not a big deal. One of them is the worst. And I hate all of them still, because I suck at puzzles, and I'm not great. So feel free to make fun of me of how bad I do temporal rifts throughout the game. I'm awful. This one is the tile trial. Um, so the way it works is every time you take a step, the tile behind you is going to disappear, and if you wait too long on the tile, it's going to fall through, put you back at the beginning. This is the first one, so it's not too bad. Your objective is you've got to get all of the crystals on the floor and make it to the exit without falling. Um, reminder that your every tile behind you is going to disappear. So if I... Do this. See, this one's not too bad. Made it to the exit. Stage one complete. Alright, this one seems pretty simple. Nope, fucked it up. And if you get stuck... 
empty. So this one we want to... Let's see... This one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not good at puzzles, so... I'm gonna fuck these up a lot. Um, this way, this way, this way. Anomaly resolved. Anomaly, anomaly resolved. Okay, that means you're done. With this one. There's more. There's always more later. They're the worst. I hate them. That child trial's fine. Clock bad. Clock is very bad. Clive, Clive didn't cheat on Clive. <laughs> the machine's working. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Let's. I smash it. Okay, you got another fragment, some extra CP there. Very nice, very nice. Smash. Hope this actually lets us control Atlas. All we can do is pray. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> I'd say he's officially turned off. If you know what I mean. Oh, finally, can you hear me now? It looks like Atlas is starting to slow down a little. Sounds like we did something. Can we turn him back on? What is it? Top light and some cakes. Or a piece. Alright, take out the cat. The cat must go. Oh, you're weak to blizzard. That's weird. We all so much wound damage. We did it. We did it. Find, uh, we gotta find that other capsule too. Oh god. Just let Noel take him out, it'll be fine. I think he's still dead. We can get one of those pulse work uh, knights to drop, and they're a sentinel, and they're... I mean, they're a pretty good sentinel, but I already have two sentinels in Sarah and Noel, so I don't really need a sentinel right now, but... 
I'll make sure you say Phoenix down, probably gonna need it. What do we got out here? There's connections. Hey, we got the Nectin on our team, though. What is he? Is he a commando? Oh, he's a rapture. Got Blizzard. So if we want Blizzard instead of Thunder... Let's go explore some more, though. We got more exploring to do. I thought those other tunnels from the last stair last side connected. They did not. So we have to go back to those other tunnels. It's okay. New enemies! Let's take out the Garchimps first. These tunnels all connect. Let's go this way. Can I please? Can I please? Give me crystals. Bless the crystals. Oh, I guess. No one's hurt, right? She does one thing. Okay, three potions. Get all the way out here on your own, huh? Yeah. He's... You trust your partner. Why? Okay, we got gate here. But no artifact for you. Well, we did find that one wild artifact earlier, but... Let's head... Over here. And a droppers. And a live trigger with Noel. So, about Alyssa, you think we can trust her? Totally! <sighs> it does kind of feel like she's using us, huh? That's okay. 
When I was a kid, I knew a guy around the same age. We didn't get along too well. He was always trying to get me to do his share of the work. Then one day, he asked me to go hunting with him. I refused. I had enough of being bossed around. So he ended up heading out alone. And that was the last time I saw him. If I had just sucked it up and gone hunting with him, he might still be alive. No. So, now I just do my best to help out. It's better than dealing with the alternative. That is it. Okay, what was the point of that? Okay. I mean, story deposition, but why did we have to have a live trigger? Just give me a cutscene. I don't like these live trigger things. Take him out. Get a interesting. I think we can get the big nectins to uh, be crystals too. There's something I just have to make sure of. There's something. We can't off the ruins. Hey, there's our our last capsule. I think there was four in that fight, that's why. Quickly now. One of our candidates is on the move. There he is. Hello. Yes, these are the capsules we lost. At the load off, she count our lucky stars. They didn't make it to the black market. When we must place the substance and set back our testing schedule. Now it looks like we have a chance to get back in. Thanks to you, we've avoided a lot of backlash. Hey, we get another fragment and some extra CP, which we will be using. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a Crystarium dump before. Uh, what are you weak to? Anything? Uh, I'm gonna do a Crystarium dump before Atlas. Bye. Back off. Oh, feel wounded. There we go. I saw a head spin and I just went instantly into Sentinel. Got nervous. Go turn in the uh. We have to go turn in those uh. Uh. uh Seed mission. Now everyone. Now everyone. Now attack. Now everyone. Now attack. I like fighting the Nectins because they give me the Where is he? Where has the bastard gone? The reports say you handled that thief in the room. The provisional government is doing it. Oh, did it already give me the, uh... Did it already give it to me? I don't have to track it. I don't have to turn it into the guy. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Well. We learned that all thieves were once normal human beings. Let's head back. The shorter way on the outside. I feel like that's the shorter way. The only thing I don't like is the rain. Um... Found the capsule in the ruin. Well,
work, everyone. Oh, oh two more Phoenix down, two points. It's definitely shorter than the tunnels. I'm already here. There he is. Hello. You're a saboteur, I want you. sell wound potions. You do sell wound potions. I'd like to buy five... No, not that many. Let's buy two wound potions, just to be safe. Because they're already showing us that monsters can wound you, and I don't like that, so... You know I'm counting. Alright. Paradigm pack. Same. Customize. I like this setup. I don't really know how to use the tune... So I just leave it normal. I guess I could... It, I don't know, really don't know. I, 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 I'll learn how to use the tune by the end of this playthrough. Let's put it that way. Crystarium. I've beat that. I've, mastered, I've platinumed this game three times and I still don't really know how to use tune effectively. Oh, I'm great. Okay. Sarah. Dump everything into Ravager because... That's all I really use you as right now. Crystarium expanded. Ooh, I could get accessory. So when you when you complete your Crystarium uh, first stage, you get a. Bonus. You can unlock a roll, increase the ATB. It, it changes for each one. Um, oh, ATB and accessory are so good, but just having saboteur. Oh, Rav boost is good too. It's just a roll level. But saboteur. I think I just want the saboteur roll. And then I just want to start pumping in saboteur. Get at least D protect D shell, hopefully. Yeah, I've got D protect D shell and wound already. Alright, let's go. Uh, and then. Do I have enough CP for Ravager? No, not for Commando either. Oh, I see. Wait, where's my CP? Oh, it's down there. I was looking at the wrong number. Okay. No, we don't want to do that. I just like dumping it. I'm very late and I just dump it in all at once. Like, commando, 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 commando. I'm sure there's more efficient ways to do this. I like just pumping up one roll at a time. The one I use. And then he unlocks Synergist. Yeah, we just want the roll, and then he already comes with shell. Let's at least get protect. See what else we can learn too. Veil for vigilance. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, mana. So vitality, strength, and mana droplets. Maybe I don't remember. I'm just gonna pump these things with potent droplets for right now because 
I don't really care, and I'm only gonna use these two for like now and then never again. Uh, ATP gauge or medic bonus boost? Oh god. Medic bonus boost. You, I want ATB gauge. And that'll do. Oh, well, now I have new rolls, so. Instead of tireless charge, let's have. Saboteur, Synergist, Even Dots. Alright, let's get Protect and Shell on at least Sarah and Null. Save the game. And uh there he is. Pray. And not looking too happy. Alright, here we go, Atlas. Let's try and get D shell on him. He's already severely Capable of inflicting curse. Can I get anything? I can get deep protect. Okay, he's immune to poison, so. We got protect on everybody. I give up on this strategy. Go for stagger. <laughs> Down one. My feral links. Oh, you removed buffs. No, it's fine. All right, let's get a try disaster going here. Oh, he's weak to fire. Okay. See if I can get the protective detail on him now. I can. Let's take him down. Once he's staggered, get deep protect D shell on him. There he goes. Oh, cinematic action. Oh, 
way! What the? How did we get here? No! Look out! Move! I think I found his weak spot. Ready? Do it! Perfect. Oh god, I'm so bad at this game. Okay. <laughs> at least stars don't really matter in this game, not like the last one. Um But yeah, we beat him. Yay! Fragment crystal for cinematic bonus and ten potent bolts. There might be someone out there derailing history and bending the timeline. That's why Atlas and these gates are appearing out of nowhere. Could it be a freak accident? Is that why lightning disappeared? Is that why Cocoon is gone in the future? Who would do something like that? Who would do something like that? Who would do something like that? I don't know. Someone who has the power to change history. And since we can use the gates, we'll have to stop it. This ability to control monsters and use the gates. Could it be a gift from Lightning? We'll just have to find her so you can ask her yourself. Alright, Atlas Fragment discovered. Alyssa, can't go this way yet. Down. That place you were looking for is right in front of us. <laughs> That's great news! I'm on my way! There's an epitaph. Here lie the innocent victims of chance, cast out and cast down. May their souls find the path that leads them home. Cast out? These must be victims of the Purge. This is it! This is the place! Mm -hmm. I thought I might be... But that's not my name. Then whose is it? Kobo. It's my friend's. She died here, running from the perch. Uh, and me? I'm one of those who survived. Uh, five years ago, the entire town of Bodom, it was wiped out by the army. I was there, visiting my friend. Then everything went to hell. We ran and hid with the other fugitives. But just as the troops were pulling out, that's when the ceiling of our hiding place collapsed. <sighs> Ever since then, I've had the same dream. I'm trapped under rubble. It's dark. I'm in pain. And I can barely breathe. The next thing I know, I rise out of my body, and I'm standing before this grave. And the name written on the stone, it's mine. After seeing that image so many times, I started to think that maybe I did die back then, and the life I'm living now is just an illusion. You seem real to me. Real enough, I guess. Even if they all 
forget. I never will. Neither will I. I can never forget. The events that scarred Alyssa were started by Lassie. If I had never become Lassie, if I had never made those mistakes, then the Purge, well, it may never have happened. Lightning. Is there any way to make up for the suffering we've caused? Can we ever give back what we've taken? Hey, it stopped raining. Thank the frames. <clears throat> All right, we got some things popping up around the map now. We still got stuff to do. Okay then. I think that wraps things up for Alyssa. Now for our little quest. Right. Let's find an artifact and open a gate. So, where should we look? Well, now we've cleared up the paradox effect. It's possible those sneaky artifacts have come out of hiding. Let's try searching those areas we couldn't reach. Time for some Moogle magic. Time for some Moogle, Moogle magic. Uh -huh. Mog, you can help? You're a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, Mog. Hey, we have chocobos now, too. Alright, let's go ahead and take a quick break, though, first, guys. Appreciate everybody that's watching. You're all awesome. My allergies are really bad today, though. Oh, my God. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and finish up Brescia here. All right, so... Got some stuff over here. Here's a live trigger reward. Lucky Clover, okay. Have you heard of the silver petal? It's an extremely rare plant that blooms with stunning silvery flowers. My niece has been pestering me, saying she wanted to see one for real. So, when I heard they grow in this area, I decided to go look for it. But I'd forgotten one thing. The silver petal only blooms when the weather is cold and snow is falling. Seems I've completely missed the season. I don't suppose you could find it anywhere right now. You see, that niece I mentioned is such a selfish and demanding little princess. But the pouty thing she does is just so cute. Uh, what's her favorite uncle supposed to do? All right, so we got a mission to find a silver petal. Oh, but it... you'll go look for one for me? Well, I won't hold out too much hope. But uh, we gotta wait for some snow and cold to find one. Mog sees something here. Let's mog, mog search. Who's the Moogle? All right, we got an eclipse artifact. Nice, Mog. Koopa Koopa. Koopa Koopa. Okay, so uh, here's how chocobos work in this game, right? So, like I said, it's not free like last game. They require a cost now. Uh, these regular chocobos here, one gets all green to get on. That's it. You can listen to the bumping music of 13 twos. No, so we still can't get up there. 13 twos chocobos. So we can't mog search on a chocobo, but uh, we'll come back here later. Let's go uh, take a little ride on a chocobo real quick. There's something we want to get that requires a chocobo. We can go down in the tunnels with a chocobo too. Yeah. But if we head over this way... We can jump on our chocobo, and if we hold B, we can get a little glide animation. Uh, and we can come down to this area, which we haven't been to yet. Oh look, Mog's found something! So there we found a fragment, Graviton Core Beta. We can get this now, which is going to save us a lot of time in the future. So I recommend you do it now. It's just going to save you an extra trip and an extra uh, Gasol Green. Because we don't need a Gasol. Oh, and then also there's a treasure chest here I forgot about. Uh, with some power droplets in it. Very good, very good. Um, power, Vitality, and Mana. Are, and then Potent are the types of com or monster materials you can use. But we don't need a chocobo to leave this area, so our chocobo can just stay there. Um, we can't. Oh, he'll follow us down, so we can get back on if we want. But let's go explore that uh that starting area where we fought the uh, the big hand at first. Could it have been interfering with time? See if, uh... What's that? See if Mog has anything he can find over here. Now the paradox is gone. Come on, Mog. Come on. And over here, we obtain personal notes. A 
stock, a stack of coded documents, okay? Head back this way. It appears to be locked. Okay, so we can't get back there yet. Uh, this is so messed up. Huh? What's with the size? Oh, I'm having some trouble with ID overlaps. You know our communicator service personal IDs? Well, it seems like there's another guy out there using the same identification signature as me. When I checked my activity log on the database, it was obvious. It has me existing in two places at the same time. Someone else's ID is overlapping with mine. I want to know how this could have happened. According to the Academy Security, someone else is out there. Find the culprit responsible and the duplicate comm device to solve the mystery. You'll look All right. into it for me. Hey, it's like I have my own private detective. Imagine, if you actually found another me walking around the room. How weird would that be? Nah, it's probably just a text group. Somewhere out there, there's another communicator with the same ID. Alright, so let's find the extra comm device. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. I tried to add, but all I could deduce was one fact. The spatial disturbance that spawned him. So the giant was sent back into- It sounds like a movie plot, doesn't it? It's true physical form. Atlas's powers, it could have been at but since the giant's remains disappeared. I didn't mean to get in the way. Don't worry. I think you two did the right thing. See, NPCs really are just... Meh. Useless. Oh, we got a yellow circle there, which means that a chocobo can take care of that, just like the last game. So let's go hop on a chocobo. We can buy Gasol greens from Choco Chocobo Galena. So, um... I'm glad things are quieted down. They're not too expensive, and so it's not it's not that big big of a deal to uh, hop on a chocobo every now and then, just so we can do a little bit more exploring. Oh my gosh! I can't believe you really did it. You subdued that big old hunk of a meat. You just saved us all from a devastation. Now that we're all safe, what say we find a way to spend? All right, does she sell anything new after we uh, beat Atlas here? No. Uh, Gasol greens are 300 gills, so they're a little pricey, but... If you ever need a hand with anything... Um, we can always buy Gasol greens as needed. So, Must be handy. Let's head up those stairs and across the bridge and see what this chocobo can get us. Nothing. I thought he was gonna give me the treasure. Oh, there's no way. Okay, well, Easy. we'll come back for that treasure later then. So I think that's all we can do here in the Brush of Ruins at this point. We've got to keep an eye out for, uh, that extra comm device, that copy comm device, and we gotta keep an eye out for, uh, yeah, there's no getting back there yet, uh, silver petal, too, but... It's huge. We can check down in the tunnels real quick, I guess. Take a little fly, boom. Yeah, so there's no uh, there's no encounters on the chocobo as well. I should mention that. So. You guys are unbelievable. You sure 
Sean monster to defeat us if we transferred it? We can't take all the credit. Really? That little fella. <laughs> Who's the Moogle? All right, we got a reunion artifact too. Way to go, Bobblehead! Oh, battle! Now for the gate. Wrong bike. <laughs> oh God, I'm in the wrong paradigm. Oh. Okay, so now we have two gates on the board. We've got the one down in the tunnels there. And then we have the gate back there. Um, the start of the area, so... Heck, let's check them both out. Let's go to the tunnels first. We're gonna walk, though. I wanna see if I can get some more of those monster crystals that I haven't gotten yet, just in case. Well, that's an aggressive spot where you don't get a chance. If it hits you, it's immediately. Let's take out the gremlins first. These are new enemies. And then the Eurodemo. No monster drops, but a remedy. Remedies are nice. Alright, let's check out this gate first. It requires the reunion artifact. Let's activate it, check it out. Okay then, let's get going. Okay. We unraveled the paradox and continued on to another time, another place. But why had these gates appeared? Who had tangled the timelines and for what purpose? We still didn't know. Why am I able to fix these temporal anomalies? Bend monsters to my will? Why do I have this power at all? I'll keep traveling with Noel, knowing that we'll find you eventually. So Lightning, if you're watching, do what you can to guide us to your side. Place where lightning is waiting. Where do you think we'll end up this time? The future? The past? I have no idea. With all this jumping back and forth, I'm not sure I know which is which anymore. <laughs> but the past is what makes us who we are, defines us as people. The future that we're aiming for, that's the thing we can change. No matter how bad things have been, without that past, 
I wouldn't be who I am now. That makes sense. So, Sarah, you shouldn't feel like you're wasting your time. Even if we don't arrive in Valhalla, there's still value in every path we take. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but hey, I won't complain if we do end up there. All this running around is exhausting. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. If you are, you'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. was a past you never should have had to deal with. But now, because of your courage, the timelines have one less knot to unravel. If I could, I would thank you for what you have accomplished. But I can't. Not just yet. All right. And that brings us to the Historia Crux, which unlocks a new area, the Sunleith Waterscape, which is a fantastic area in 13. Uh, but it's 300 years in the future, so... You know, why don't we go ahead and take, take a step back to the Brush of Ruins. And go unlock that other gate as well. Deal with this very long of the screen, even though I was just there. Why is the brush of screen so long? Okay. So we got a chocobo headed our way, but I don't wanna I don't wanna take a chocobo, I wanna walk. Try and get some Try and get some more monster crystals if I can. God, just look how fast Noel is with that ATD refresh and a free empty strike. Oh, it's so delicious. Hoplite, let's go. Check out this gate. It requires the Eclipse Artifact. Yes. Yes, it worked. Hopeful. Sarah, you okay? Hopeful? It's nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. Mm. 
All right. And that one gives us another important cutscene. It also unlocks the Yachas Massif. Only 10 years in the future. So I think that's the one we'll do next. But what I want to do real quick is access the main menu. Let's see, I've got 4,034 CP. Um, I don't think we need the CP right now, so I think I'm just going to call it for the night then. So, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I know this one's a little shorter than usual. Actually, no. Eh, it's a little shorter than usual. But, uh, yeah, I'm just exhausted, and I've had a, such a bad week at work. That's why I was haven't played in the past few days, but... Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. We at least got one area done tonight, and I want to start a new area on a fresh, fresh rest tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys. My name is Adam. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.